times when you hear the word preset you kind of go walk up and you kind of go huh okay well let's see where you know what what somebody's suggesting that who's I who's going to tell me yeah, what yeah, I yeah, want exactly hear, right? I mean I had 20 something years of experience and I'm going ah uh, okay you know but I can tell you this that um you know first input I think we had a beta 52 on the kick drum and I was like okay you know let me just try it out and I was like and and the funny thing was that by instinct you know you would I put, you know, I immediately was going to go for that EQ because I was, and I just kind of paused. And I so went let's like, just show again what that looks like. Yeah. So if you yeah. were to go, you got the kick channel here, and let's say you got this button right over here, right, and you hit over here, you can go to the drums, for example, and then we can scroll down, and let's say we have a, down here, beta, beta 50 T right there on the drum, and then I can do... And you can recall just the EQ if you want, mm -hmm. or you can do the whole channel, right? That's really Looks nice. like you can, even, you can even select head amp or input. Are those each those selectable? Are things you can yeah, yeah, you can include or exclude. So, That's for great. example, if you've gotten your gain, you know, and, and we all know, depending on the drummer, you know, depending on the singer, sometimes they're, you know, so it could either be suggested for you or you can already set it like we did, you know, like something that we would do. But, um, so you can select what you want to recall, but you can do the whole channel or you can do EQ and say we recall, you know, say, you know, I think the whole channel, whatever. And then it tells you, notifies you that it's done. And then if you go to, and and so that was that, the preset. That's the preset. Now you and I and Noel and everybody else, you know, I mean, how many times have we put a 52 on a kick drum, right? We know, we kind of know what we're going to go for. And yeah. I can tell you that I just, well, I had to kind of wait a second and go there. Yeah, that's exactly what it, what I wanted to do. In fact, you know, depending on the size of the drum and then you can easily just go right there and just make a little short adjustment, you know, right there, you know, open up maybe the low end a little bit, but the ballpark, I mean, just the ball field just got really small. You're in there, you know, you're in the game. You know? It's got that mid range scoop and a little bit of yeah. on the high end. Um, and then the one knob, all it does is accentuate what's already in correct. the preset. It's more, so or, less booster, more or less of everything. If you'll notice when, you're, taste, when, you're, yeah. when you select one knob, it's 50%. Already, it's already. You can oh, go it's right in the middle. Yeah, gotcha. it's dead center. So you just whatever you want, you can do. But remember, the presets came from our R and D team has like seventy years of doing yeah. shows. Yeah. They're, it's it's like having you guys in the box. That's we but really even, wanted. Even coming from uh, the professional side of what we do in the years that we've been doing it, that being able to tell you guys as, as friends and colleagues is to say, I was skeptical of what a preset might sound like, you know? And to say, loaded it up and I went, wow, that's actually good. You know, in fact, I think one of the comments was like, man, I'm kind of leery of handing off a bunch of presets and having somebody else's mix be, you know, <laughs> borderline what my mix is gonna be right away. You well, know? I think one of the key features though is that you guys have gone to the trouble of analyzing different microphones and the characteristics of those mics so that you can, if you, if you don't have a sure Beta 52, but you have the Sennheiser, that curve is going to be a little different based on the characteristics, characteristics of that mic. And you guys have preloaded kind of a basic mic package of those three different manufacturers so that generally the, this, this kind of console, the user is going to have those kind of mics. It, it, yeah, exactly. And, and the, they had input as well. It wasn't we just picked them and did them. The they, manufacturers, the manufacturers the have the console yeah. and the speaker so they could try the presets themselves. Which is important because a, a vocal preset I would be leery of in general right. because we all know every mic every singer's different. handles yeah. different and singers. But exactly. knowing that you've had the manufacturers well, on also, your side is both sides, important. Yes. One thing also you guys should know is that not only is there manufacturer specific with a model specific preset but there's also some generic settings so okay. you know we walk up to a kick drum and there's some things that you know there's that low end that low mid mud that we want to scoop out generally we, you know we kind of know where that frequency range that's kind of been done and so you know um, what I like about the intensity feature on that one knob is you can kind of go oh let me take it out and let me see what I'm actually doing mm -hmm. you know and kind of go in between and kind of so again it, it, it only hit, uh, aids that novice or beginner engineer to kind of go, oh, this is what it's doing, you know? And so, um, yeah, again, things the, um, that's taken us years to learn. And I like yeah. the, the other thing I like too is that as you turn up the intensity, it looks like the tendency is to cut more than it does boost. In other yeah. words, you have to really turn it up to almost full to really get much of a boost. So, yeah, in terms of subtractive EQ, where you're taking out some right. of the problems rather than adding, because I think a lot of people beginning to learn about EQ, they just want to turn stuff up. Yeah. And that can get really dangerous in yes. terms of gain structure and feedback and all that. Mm -hmm. So this is a real, mm -hmm. this is the way we would do it. Right, exactly. <laughs>